it's Pete here and I'm back for the weekly Fun Bridge Tournament. Let's just jump straight in and see how we actually go. So to get in, all you have to do is click Get Started slash Practice, Exclusive Tournaments, and if you haven't played it before, all you have to do is click View All Tournaments, and then in here type in BridgeVid, and it'll uh, pop up. Okay, and then you just click the yellow button and get into it. Okay, so currently the leading is now 7 with 72% and VRB 71% and I'm Steph 70.79%. So nice work making the 70% uh, benchmark. We've got a Sydney boy playing and doing pretty well. We've got a newbie learner doing uh, really well. And Cannibal Jack. Strategic gamers up there. Who else do we have playing this time? Bridge is not a dead game yet, is back once more. We got Pizza Man 1. Must beat Pete. Okay, my benchmark, 49.27%. Uh, uh, which also took out Howard, Howard Moon Colon Explorer and Mashed Potato. Trying to beat Pete. They, those two were actually really close this time. So, uh, just having a quick scroll through to see who else did... Uh, Played the tournament and uh, went in. All right. Okay. So we've got we've got a reasonable idea of how people have uh, gone so far. Um, pass one diamond to me. Nil vol. Easy one heart bit. Two hearts. Three spades. Invitational. Um, I've said my bit, so I'll pass. And four spades. So let's pass and see what. Get into the defense. Jack of Hearts lead. That's a curious lead from my partner. So I'm not really sure what holding they could have because the Jack is usually top of a sequence, which they don't have because of the 10. Or it's top of a doubleton, but they volunteered a raise. So it still could be top of the doubleton. Might be like some awkward lead. I don't know if the robots make it, but from like King Jack 8 of Hearts. Sometimes it can be right to lead the uh, jack there. Um, but all in all, it looks like West has uh, the king. I'm not exactly sure what my partner uh, has led from. But I'll be curious to look afterwards to work out what they actually ha do lead from. Okay, so jack of hearts to me. So West bid one spade showing five. Um... Partner 7 to 10 points, so I don't think I can give them a club rough, so I don't feel the need to switch to a club here. I could continue the Queen of Hearts, uh, but if West has the Ace of Diamonds, then they'll probably, they've probably got 5 spades. I, I really don't know how many hearts they've got, because I can't tell from the lead. Um, but... Hmm... If West has the Ace of Diamonds, they've got five spades and maybe like uh, three hearts, two diamonds, and three clubs. We might be able to get two club tricks, but probably not three if I lead them. I'm going to continue the Queen of Hearts, but there's probably some layouts where I do need to switch to a club here. Alright, so it does look like my partner led the uh, Jack from King Jack something. Okay, so if my partner has King Jack of Hearts, West could have the... Uh, my partner probably doesn't have four hearts, but they could be a four triple three. Otherwise, they might have raised to three hearts. So the question is, is the club going anywhere if I don't switch to a club? And what am I hoping for? So my partner's got King Jack of Hearts. If I've got the Ace of Clubs, we can cash two clubs. If they don't have the Ace of Clubs... Let's give my partner four hearts, even though I don't really think they have them. So West has like five spades, two hearts, uh, three, three in the minors, uh, in which case we're probably going to get a club trick later anyway. Uh, if they do have the third heart, they get to throw, they might have one fewer diamond, in which case they get to throw one club away, but they would still have two clubs. So I'm just going to switch to... Tempted to a switch to a spade. That could pick up my partner's queen third spade. 
I could play a heart, but that might give a rough and discard because I don't know if my partner has four hearts or not because I can't tell from the lead. Uh, a club could give my club suit away, and a diamond, if West has ace, jack, small diamond, might pick up the diamond suit to uh, throw the rest away. I could play the ten of diamonds. Again, that might blow the suit. Um, I could try the nine of diamonds. Uh, it's pretty ugly, all in all. I'll try a diamond, okay. Um, there's no way my partner has the ace of clubs. Like West has to have more than queen, jack of spades, jack of clubs. So I'll just duck the club. I don't see any purpose in um, setting up the queen. Okay. So it was from king, jack, third heart. And they just get to throw their tricks away. But we got all of our tricks. 43%. Some people held them to, well, got them to only bid three spades because they passed throughout and the robots only bid two spades. When I bid one heart, uh, got two hearts and East jumped to three spades. They do have a borderline decision, but uh, I think it's a clear one heart over call, but uh, didn't work out this time. 43%, no big deal, but uh, we'll move on to board number two. So, partner led the jack from King Jack 3rd with a high pip, like King Jack 7, I think it was. Anyway, 14 highs, 3, 2, 6, 2. There's a bit of an awkward hand. So, I, I like to plan two bids in a, in a row. So, if I open a diamond, what's my rebid going to be? Is it going to be two diamonds? Is it going to be one no trump? I don't think either of them are very good descriptors, and I don't think it's worth jumping to three diamonds. So I'm going to treat this hand as balanced and upgrade it into one no trump because I count two points for a six card suit. So one no trump, partner stamened, and they invited. Okay, so I do have a sub minimum, but I have a source of tricks. Now playing uh, imps, I think you should definitely accept here. But what I want to do is try and visualize what I actually need from my partner to make a game contract. Like if my partner's got the king of diamonds, king third diamond, for instance, we might have six diamonds, a heart is seven, the king of spades is eight, or like one of my black kings is eight, and I just need my partner to have one other card. So you definitely could make here. So at imps, I reckon I should give it a go. But at match points, I think it's not worth it. Stiff diamond is good news for me not bidding on. But my partner has a decent hand. Okay, five of spades lead, so the three still missing. It could be from a five card suit. Um, we've got one spade trick, two hearts is three. A diamond is four. I want to set up the club suit. So 10, so the 9 of spades is with West. So I'm going to win that and start working on clubs at the moment. Okay, so here's a spade. Okay, 3 of spades is there, so we know spades are 4-3. It's really important to look at the spades that were below the opening lead. So on that one, uh, they led the five of spades, so the only missing card was the three, and East showed up with it, so I know spades are four, three. Okay. So... I think I can duck this one. Okay, East West have won three tricks. If they might get an extra one in clubs, but it's the nine uh, clubs three three. They are so we're making our contract. Spade went. I 
actually making nine tricks at this stage. Haven't seen the Jack of Diamonds, so let's just see if the uh, hearts are good. I don't think they are. But yeah, as you saw, I had a sub-minimum, still scored uh, nine tricks, so it could have got an absolute top, but the robots might be able to do better. Um, but yeah, so pass a diamond, one no trump. Oh, they just beat one no trump three tricks when the opponent's overcall a no trump. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there was 12 people in two no trumps, 24 people in two diamonds. Because I open one diamond and rebid two diamonds, uh, which is another approach that you could take. On this deal, you could have made three no trumps, so it was there. So at imps, I feel vindicated that I would have given it a shot. Match points, I still don't think it's probably worthwhile. Um, but like, but that being said, Barton had a singleton diamond, and I didn't use my source of tricks, and we still could have made it. So I think it says a fair bit about it. But uh, yeah. Board number three, five five in the minors, fifteen count. So I'll start with one diamond. Just bid two clubs, and I'm invitational, so I could bid three clubs, which shows sixteen to eighteen total points. Uh, I think it's worthwhile. It's a bit pushy, but um, we're probably in the right spot here because clubs are probably better than diamonds. We've got two spades, a heart to lose at least. So I need to set up the diamond suit. They've done well uh, leading trumps. Uh, if they continue with trumps, then I can throw... Like The king of hearts can set up a discard. Uh, the jack of spades can set up for a discard. So that can get rid of two of mine. Um, So I'm tempted to like come out the Queen of Hearts here, because if they continue with a club, I can throw a spade away and then play diamonds. Yeah, so here they've now had to switch to caching spades. Well, I got one spade. So let's throw my spade away. And now if I lead a diamond and duck it to the west player? They might not be able to rough it. Um, I could, like, duck this. It's hard to tell who's got the uh, last club. If I think east has the last club, I could just duck this diamond. Um, I didn't pay enough attention to exactly what club they actually led. Uh... Hmm. Do I want to go up with the ace and then come out a low diamond, come out the jack of diamonds, or do I just want to duck this? So there's lots of options. I think I'm just going to duck this. I'll be sad if ace plays the final club, but no. <laughs> Got over roughed. Uh, so we're going to go down one here. So they could have just drawn the trump on me. Sixty-six percent. So two diamonds went down one, down two, or three diamonds went down two. On this deal, you could have made a one no trump contract. So that's probably a bit much. But that was a really good lead by the uh, robots there. Um, And they did lead top of a Dalton. So I probably should have led... Like... Ace of Diamonds come out, another Diamond. Be able to then trump it and get over rough. Yeah. But I think passing two Diamonds definitely has a lot of merit. Uh, with a 5-5-15 count, I think it's usually worthwhile going. But at match points, maybe not. So... Another close match point decision, but currently running at 66%. Moving on to board number four. 
Really good 18 count. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 1. So I'll start with a double. And now I have an awkward choice. So two clubs is... This is a cubit. It consists of naming the opponent's suit and shows either a strong hand or a hand with no natural bid available. Forcing bid. So only 16 points. I think that's probably about right. Um, two diamonds. 10 points at most. This is natural. I'll raise my diamond. Raise the diamonds. Partner does... Had no interest. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. They passed with this? Really? Well, I'm probably going to get a bad score here. Um, like other people will find their way to, like, game. Like, uh, four spades is a really good contract. Okay, so what, what do we have here? Uh, West opened... So my right-hand opponent opened one club. And I had 18 points opposite 6. So... Um, 18 opposite 6. Uh, 24, so 16 missing. Uh, East pro West... My right-hand opponent probably has both of the missing aces, has something in clubs. Uh, four spades is going to be just like lay down pretty much no matter what. Although you might not be able to, like, yeah, it's just lay down. I am going to get a bad score for this one. Okay, um, so... This stage, I'm going to lose a heart and a spade, and I can throw my other two hearts and a diamond. So, ten tricks. Four spades is where you have to get to. I could have made uh, five diamonds by playing a diamond to the king and running the jack of diamonds. But I didn't really have a good enough reason to like do something like that. Um, so, three diamonds plus one. So I can make five diamonds, can make five spades. Got 57%. So most people, one diamond got passed out, uh, which is just like crazy with all these hands. Some people went off in four spades. How do you go off in four spades? So club lead and a spade. That would probably do it. Because now you still lose a club, a heart, a spade, and a diamond because you don't get the diamonds right. Um, but you didn't think about getting rid of their club losers, so it really doesn't take too much. Like, you can't just draw trumps. You can, like, lead the king of hearts out of hand, set up the ability to do that. You want to rough one club, pitch one, then play on diamonds. So they didn't consider the bad break there, but uh, six people managed to bid and make... Uh, four spades, but most people played in diamonds. I think that was a, like I was showing quite a good hand there, and my partner was like, "Nope, not having a bar of that." I had a really good hand once I raised diamonds. Like we still want to get to spades in the end. That I can repeat their spades. Bid two diamonds, like over three diamonds. Bid three spades. I think that would be a sensible sort of auction there. Anyway, diamond pass a spade, two spades. Uh, let's invite with two no trumps. It's a forcing bid. Let's, in let's just bid game with three no trumps. I feel like it's a slight overbid, but I think playing in no trumps will be good. If two no trumps was a bid that could have been passed, and I'm very happy that it's not a bid that is passable. But um, if it was a bid that could have been passed, then I, I would have tried that. Anyway, uh, they found a diamond lead on this auction. Yuck. Uh, well, hopefully West has the Ace of Diamonds, but they probably don't. Um, 
we have a diamond trick, two clubs, a spade. Uh, the, I might be able to get three clubs. I might be able to get three spades. I might be able to get a heart and two diamonds. It's quite a stretch to try and make this contract. Jack. So West has the ten of diamonds. So it's more likely that they've led from their length there. I'm hoping West has Doubleton, Honor, and Spades so that the King will fall next. Okay, so Diamonds are 6 with West, 2 with East. West probably has another entry outside of that. So I've got the Ace of Hearts as well, we're in some trouble. Um, if West has the Ace of Hearts, they win and play a heart <laughs> to the Ace and get three more Diamond Tricks, which is a lot. That would give them a heart, a spa uh, two spades, and four Diamonds, leaving me three down. If I play a heart here... I can force out a heart trick. So I currently have three. I can force out a heart trick and still get, I could, if East has the ace of hearts, I can then play a club over and a spade up, uh, which will get me two clubs, a heart, and Spade. Maybe I should still be trying to make this contract. Um, which, if I get two spades, two diamonds, three clubs, and a heart, it's a really long way. I need East to have like the top heart. Uh, West obviously has another entry somewhere, but they might get themselves into trouble. Um, yeah, let's, yeah, okay, so we're in damage control mode now. Get another club discard. Okay, so I need to find one more discard after this, so I'm just keeping my threats in as many suits as possible. Should be counting how many clubs they actually played. But I'm just going to go ace of clubs, club to the king. Okay. That won't score well. 7%. I was the only player in three no trumps. So other people bid three clubs. To me this seemed like offering no trumps was a di like quite a good idea. So you ch if you choose two no... Ah, oh, one heart, pass, one no trump. Two diamonds, okay. So when they bid two diamonds, South still offered two no trumps and the opponents bid four spades. Ah, oh, they bid four spades. Or just three spades. Feel like... To me, I think this is like probably two no trump bids, like about right. But if my partner has to bid on over it, then I figured I may as well just offer three no trumps. My spades were pretty rubbish. And if I didn't get a diamond lead, I would have been a lot happier. <laughs> but uh, on this deal, you could have made a two heart contract. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on to board number six. Not, not the score I was hoping for, but not sad about it. I'm just surprised that no one else offered no trumps as much. So a spade pass, four clubs, splinter. Okay, I made a lead on a splinter auction. East has some wasted values in clubs or a dead minimum. Looks like a natural jack of hearts lead. You could consider a spade lead, but...
Okay, so Jack of Hearts, 6, 9, King. Dummy has a pretty normal splinter. Uh, right. Nine of Diamonds. Uh, I think I just want my partner to win that. Wow, I've got uh, opposing splinters. Just cross rough on the hand. There's not much more for me to do. I was just going to hold on to my hearts, but hearts are breaking anyway. Yeah, so 12 tricks. So I managed to let them make 13, which is a miracle somehow. I don't don't really want to look. We'll move on to but like really, really flat board. Except for like why did East sign off? They 13 highs, singleton diamond, king fourth heart. I've got the wasted ace of clubs, but I feel like you just want to cubid and like your partner had no wasted points opposite diamonds. You don't want to commit to slam with this type of hand, but uh I think making some sort of slam try would be okay. Like, to think, what do you need to make slam opposite this? Your partner's got ace of spades. Ace of spades, queen jack of hearts, ace of diamonds. That's a hand within the scope that they could have, which slam makes. Uh, ace queen of hearts, ace of spades, slam makes. Um, like if they've got two aces and the queen of hearts, you're feeling pretty good about slam. So... Uh, if they don't have the ace of hearts, you want them to have, like, queen jack of hearts, so... It's there or thereabouts, but I think, like, cooperating just a little bit... You can still sometimes sign off, but, uh... Just help them out a little bit rather than just signing off. Because you had quite a good hand opposite a splinter. 21 highs, so nice easy 2 no trump bid. 3 hearts, transfer. So, 3 spades, 3 no. We are done here. Partner's got a good hand. <laughs> I thought we were in spades for a moment, so I was like... Wondering what, what I have to do over that. Um, we probably still want to play on spades. So I'm thinking like, win the Queen of Hearts, spade to the King. Uh, if West wins that, we're just like, really cosy, so... I'll just start with that. Like, West can't successfully attack anything. Okay, so now we have to work a bit harder. Because it looks like East has Ace Jack of Spades. I, I could have considered a play of, like, running the Ten of Spades. So if I run the Ten of Spades... If West wins the Jack. Like, running the Ten of Spades is sounding a lot better to me. Now I think about it. Um, so we've got four hearts. Two diamonds is six. Uh, a club is seven. A spade is eight. I could still be going down in this contract. Um, if spades are three, three, and the king of clubs is offside. Um, like, but I can do something like spade to the king... Diamond to the ace, like diamond to the king, diamond to the ace, diamond up. I could just take the diamond finesse. Makes me wish I'd actually like uh, considered running the ten of spades. It's hard to see how you go down. I think at imps it's really really worthwhile. At match points it's only bad if east has the ace jack of spades and west has the king of clubs. Because it's a slightly better play in spades to play a spade to the uh, king and spade up. I feel like hopping up with the ace of clubs is what you want to do here. And am I not going to take the diamond finesse? I think I have to take the diamond finesse at match points.
King of Clubs was on side. Wow. Brilliant switch by Ace, switching to the uh, Jack. <laughs> I really didn't make many tricks there. That one won't be good. It'll be normal ish, but won't be good. 21%. Now oh, everyone's making heaps of tricks. Heart lead, spade to the king, spade. Just finessing, like, no fear. Um, like, I, wait, so my play... I guess by not finessing, I was assuming my diamond finesse would lose anyway. But, like, what if West has four diamonds? That's kind... Maybe what I'm catering to? If West has four diamonds and getting a trick there? Finessing's probably right. Um... Once I, like, decided that I was going to, like, finesse the diamond, then finessing is probably right. I think it's just stuck in my head, just like the imps format. I could have tried to safety play it a bit more, but I could have made heaps of tricks. I can make six no trumps. So if you run the ten... Did anyone find the running of the ten of spades? Why? Wow, if you lead the ten of spades, they hop. Um... And now, you still finesse. Alright. Um, but no one managed to take the backwards finesse in diamonds. But I think the tennis play, spades is a good play there. I uh, wish I'd found that one. Um, but uh, just the 21% there when I was called for slam. Running at 46. One board to go. 21 eyes <laughs> again. Open two no trumps. Three clubs. Show my four card suit. We're just playing simple stamen. I think. Yeah. Okay, so we've got four heart tricks. Four club tricks is eight. Two diamonds is ten. Uh, I could take a diamond tri finesse for eleven. Diamonds could break. Alright, so... When the ace there... Thinking heart to the ace... Uh, the, the, the suits are blocked up. If I cash the clubs... And then play a heart over. But I'm just thinking, if I play a heart over and take a diamond finesse, they can then just return a heart and cut my communication to the good club in the end. Um, I want them to continue clubs. But if I cash my two clubs and then play a heart to the ace and then a diamond finesse, they're definitely going to switch to spades. I could just force out the spade. That's the other option. So like, queen of spades, give them a trick. And that will guarantee 11 tricks. Whereas taking the diamond finesse only gets me... 11 if it works, 12 if the suit breaks 3-3 three, three as well, or there's like doubleton queen 10 on the side. Whereas leading the queen of spades to set up a discard on the spade seems like the best approach. They can switch to hearts, I play another spade, they play. Switch to hearts, I win the ace of hearts, unblock the clubs and play another spade. Okay, they got their 11 tricks. Queen of Diamonds offside, so glad I didn't do that. Uh, so 80%, lots of people only made uh, 10 tricks. I think they probably got stuck in the um, diamond finesse position. They... Like, it gets you 11 if it works, and it does have some upshot of uh, 12, but the upshot of 12 is pretty low percentage. Um, is it worth that play, though? So, I think there's 100% 11 tricks. They're going 50-50 11 tricks. 
So 50% of the time they're getting 10. Uh, and then uh, like 33% of the time they're getting 11 and then the rest they're getting 12 tricks. So I think just set, guaranteeing your 11 is the way to go. Anyway, I finished with 51%, uh, pretty, pretty poor in the end. Uh, so bad boards, what did I do? So three no trumps, overbid that one, I guess. Um, but offering three no trumps, I think it's fair. Probably better at uh, um, teams to do that. I really wanted to just bid two no trumps as my way of inviting. Um, but that was forcing anyway, so I just took the uh, rosy view. And then board seven played this one quite poorly. Um, I reckon running the ten of spades is a really good line of play. Um, and then when I switch to a club, I, I should finesse, because I was finessing into the danger hand anyway later. Uh, but uh, really good play if you spotted the running of the ten. Anyway, hope you enjoyed uh, this weekly Funbridge tournament. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.